What's good everybody, welcome to the underground. Before I begin today's video, quick shout out to 1111, thank you so much for commenting. Don't forget to leave a comment on this video for a shout out in a future one. Today we're back with another reaction, and this time we're going to be looking at Autumn's recently released Antagonist, a project Wick's been hyping up for a while now. After dropping a lot of fire snippets as well as signing a deal with Victor Victor, to say the least, expectations were high for Autumn's sophomore album. But when the project dropped last Friday, looking across social media, I did see a lot of praise coming from satisfied fans. However, I did also see a decent number of negative comments, Autumn done dropped some f***ing mid, Autumn has unique flows but didn't show them on Antag, listening to Antag made me realize Yeet is so ahead of Autumn. Now, as a big fan of Wick, I'll admit it, I also had pretty high expectations for this album, but I'm not gonna lie, he really did do a good job. Antagonist really shows Autumn's versatility as an artist and as a producer. But enough chit chat, let's get into the music. The first song I wanted to acknowledge is the second track on the project, STFU, which is definitely one of my new favorite Autumn songs. First of all, the beat is beautiful, Autumn's really shown off his producer skills on this one, and the melody also perfectly matches the beat and just makes his song a super dope vibe. Another Autumn song STFU reminded me of is Wants from his EP Not Much Longer, which is another Wick song I really enjoy. But yeah, STFU is a W song, STFU 2 is good as well, but the first one's definitely better. Up next we got I'm Him, another self-produced track. Wick also went crazy with this beat, and I'm not gonna lie, I really thought he was gonna get carried by it too, but well, he bodied this sh We all know Autumn has some crazy flows, but I really think people also underestimate his lyrical ability. Wick has a lot of real shit to talk about, and I do think people should pay more attention to that. Finally, the last song I wanted to talk about is Free Bugger 3, and there's really no good way to explain it, but when Autumn layers his vocals on a plug and B beat, it's just so good, man. It's so good. Guess I just gotta see it through. I still pray, but come home soon. So mad I grew up without you. Fucked up what they did to you. Goyard really pulled through with a super melodic instrumental, and when Autumn comes in, all I can think about is how good it's going to be listening to the song on the highway at 2am. Overall, even though some fans are disappointed, I personally think that this project is some of Autumn's best music yet. He's really evolved as an artist and it's super dope to watch the process. But as for a rating, Antag gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. In comparison to the Yeats album, I like how this project has a wider variety of different sounds, rather than just a bunch of stuff to rage to. But at the same time, I also would have liked to see some features from at least some other pop and underground artist, but I also know that Autumn does have a bit of a chip on his shoulder from Yeet blowing past him, and I think he really wanted to show his chops as an artist on this project, which he did. But as for first week sales, even though Wick signed a deal, this was a solo project, so using my certified underground expert methods, my prediction for Antag is that it will sell 10k first week. I think if Autumn is able to hit this figure, it'll show Victor Victor the potential he has to really blow up, and with the right feature and song, I can definitely see Wick getting as big or bigger than Yeet. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree with my rating and my prediction for Antag's first week sales? Remember, I'll shout you out in a future video. Also, thank you guys so much for 200 subs. It's great to see that you guys have enjoyed the content I've been putting out. Don't forget to like and subscribe with those notifications on so you know when I'm live streaming here on YouTube. I'm planning on streaming somewhat consistently in the coming weeks. Thank you all so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Peace.